Hello. <coughs> and I, um, for years and years and years, I have always looked at, unloaded the directory on the Commodore Tesk demo disk for the 1541. Um, I haven't used many of the programs, didn't need to, but I, it's funny, I just did, uh, I ran one called the Check Disk Program, and it did, in fact, go through the entire disk, and it tells me that there's no bad blocks. What a handy thing. I should try, when I'm brave, again, maybe I should try that Pac-Man game again, that did work, but then didn't work, and made every drive not work. Not yet. So this is what I call a scratch disk. And I ran the test demo, or the performance test and the bad block test on it. And it works. I imagine. So here is another 1541 disk drive. This one, which is still plugged in, um, as I gathered it, I, I wanted to check this out. This one was made in I think maybe the configuration on the back is a little different. Either that or I just think it is. Something looked different about this. Well, the fuse thing is different. It doesn't have the little arrow. Huh. Maybe it's just because there's less sticker. Something caught my eye and I said, oh, there's something interesting about that. Um, but everything, I mean, the, the information all looks the same, and actually everything looks in the same place. I have not opened it up to see if it's different inside. I'll do that another time. Oh, 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 oh. So, here is the pile of disk drives. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven high, but there are some 5041-2s around. Um, there are a couple of them, and others. So, actually, what I wanted to talk today about was this. This is a Commodore joystick. They were not to my liking. Some people might have liked them. I found them to be particularly horrid. Um, they're, uh, like here we have one of the best joysticks ever made. This is the command control. Beautiful, magical, epic. And then we have this. This reminded me kind of of something that maybe Atari had put out. Now the nice thing about this is it says Commodore on it. So it's a genuine. Um, I'm not sure if this works or not. I th it has been used. It's not perfectly clean. Right, it's not like it's new in box, so I don't feel bad undoing the twist tie on it. I'm going to turn this machine off. Also, when we did a thing before, 
I was testing the sound with Epic's Pit Stop, I found the sound was very much too loud. Sometimes cartridges need to be reset. Oh, there it is. So, <coughs> I will take this fine joystick and I will try it in port number two. Oh, something has happened here. Just a moment. Reset. I'm going to switch it to port number one. Of course, never do so with the machine turned on. But I always do. Okay, so I will turn the sound down. One player. One player. Two players. I am pressing the fire button and it is not working. I have a feeling that this test is going to be pretty short. Because now I have this other weak So, that was a pretty fast test. This is not working. I'll try one more time. Switch. It were, oh, if I really smack it repeatedly, uh huh. I'm picking Monaco. I am. But it is not. Registering. I'll try hitting it lightly. It is not. It did. The joystick part seems to move. If I could just get the switch to work a couple more times. Well, grand. So, I'm going to plug the good joystick in. So I can at least get... Oh dear. It's time to drive. I'm going to turn that down a bit. So, I'm now going to put this Commodore joystick back in and see if I can drive. I crashed. Oh no. I do believe. Oh, I got the joystick plugged in just in time. again. Oh, hey. Maybe. The switch kind of got through some things. Let me, maybe there's... <gasps> okay. 
I am accelerating. I am driving. I have not found there to be any gears in this. So I will stop. And I will reset. And I will turn this back on. So, the switch is still wonky. If I probably press it uh, a whole bunch repeatedly, it does finally register. And we can drive again. Once again, those bumping oh, I'm doing all right. Those bumping noises are me hitting cars or other things. Okay. So, this might be a good joystick to use with an auto fire thing that takes the, the joystick power or shooting thing away. Um, there are screws, so perhaps another time. I will open this up and see. Maybe the switch is just dirty, kind of like keyboards get, and it needs um, maybe some alcohol. Maybe. Anyway, so there we have it. A Commodore joystick, which actually may be highly prized these days because I don't know how many they made, I don't know how many they sold, I don't know how many survived. Certainly, these were much better. But like anything, maybe if there's hardly any left, they are more prized. Why? Just like with other brand name things, it proudly proclaims Commodore. Anyway, perhaps we will take this apart at another time. Um, uh, anyway, as you see, the 1541 stack is getting higher. And um, right now, I think I will go and uh, ponder taking this joystick apart, but not yet. So, until we meet again.